Hey guys, it's Paul. And Shannon. Yep, Shannon's over there driving, so she can't look at the camera, which is good. Um, <laughs> yeah, we want to get where we're going in one piece. Right. So we are out driving around on a beautiful Saturday morning. We are having to go down to the mall for Shannon's shoes. Shannon's got shoes. I'm going to get shoes? Yep. We are going to be going to New York in a couple weeks. Um, we are going to be going to Sweet Sweet. We got invited to go to Sweet Sweet, and yes. this is really cool. It'll be the first time that we have been to that, and the first time we're going to New York in the summertime. Which I'm a little bit concerned about because I don't really like heat very much, so I don't know. We'll see how that's going to be. Yeah. Although um, I think summer in North Carolina is probably worse. Summer, uh, yeah, I can tell you this. So I grew up in Baltimore. Okay. And, yes, I um, knew that. <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, they didn't. So, um, so anyway, I grew up in Baltimore, and summer in Baltimore is is really hot, but it's got nothing on North Carolina summers. Um, the difference, I think, is this. In Baltimore, there's a lot of places that you can walk. You don't need to drive nearly as many places. In New York, we don't drive. We don't hard. drive. We don't drive. We don't drive anywhere. Paul is not driving in New York. In well, but we don't Morris even Shannon. use cabs that much. We pretty yeah. much walk everywhere. Yeah, because our hotel is really kind of centrally located to all the stuff we like to do. So, yeah, we just kind of walk everywhere. Um, so that might be a little bit more of an adventure with it being summertime. I might be in more taxis. Maybe. Um, although we've been to win we've been there uh, one winter. It was 20 degrees below zero with the wind chill, and we still walked. That was so cold. Yeah, it was cold. I thought I was going to die. Yeah. It was really cold. So anyway, um, so we are going to Crabtree Valley Mall to the walking company specifically. Yes. This video is not sponsored by them, but if you'd like to sponsor Shannon, That's we right. would be down with that. Sponsor me. <laughs> um, sponsor me for clothes and shoes and makeup and jewelry. Yeah. And cars. I don't think you're getting that from the walking company. Oh, I just thought the mall. Oh, yeah. Cool. Yeah. Um, walking company should sponsor me because I talk about their shoes enough. Yeah. I have a pair of their shoes on right now. Yeah. I they think, had comfortable shoes. Yeah, pretty much all the shoes that you wear. <laughs> most of them now. Out of the house are walking company. Yeah. yeah. So I just want to say something really quick, guys. Um, this is actually the first we are vlogging in a couple weeks. If you watched some of our previous videos, you know why that is. Just want to let you guys know that we're doing really, really good, and we want to thank you one more time just for how awesome and amazing you guys all are, and we kind of feel like we're ready to get back to it. So. Yep. Yeah, you guys are awesome. Thank you for all yes. the all the support and all the comments. Um, so anyway, yeah, we are headed to the mall. We are yes. going to probably get Cheesecake Factory while we're there because that's just how we roll. You have to. Yeah. Like, it's, it's just against the law. It, it would kind of be irresponsible not to. It would be. Since there's a Cheesecake Factory there and we are going to go there, so. And, you know, I mean, Cheesecake Factory needs our business. They do. They, they probably don't, don't but we're we, just going to pretend they do. Well, no, we're, we're stimulating the economy there you by go. going there. So, you there know. You go. You're welcome, Cheesecake Factory. <laughs> that's right. You're welcome, economy. So, <laughs> so okay. Uh, so, yeah, I think that's going to be it. We will, uh, you know, kind of show you anything that we, uh, we do that's interesting. Okay. Bye, guys. Hey, guys. It's Shannon. So, yesterday was Father's Day. And this is actually filmed a couple days after the last footage you saw, but um, it was Father's Day. We took Paul out to a restaurant here called Bad Daddy's. I don't know if you have them near you. They're like burger restaurants, excellent place. But they serve these tater tots there that are super duper amazing. And they always give you like way too many. So we always end up bringing a whole box of these tater tots home. And one of our favorite things to do with the leftover tater tots is to um, heat them up in the oven and then make breakfast burritos for dinner with them. So that's what we're doing right now I'm gonna turn the camera and show you Paul leftover tots leftover tots. I didn't have you in frame There we go. <laughs> Leftover tots now I'm in the frame <laughs> So they make delicious tots and like I said, we like to turn them into breakfast burritos And you guys always say that you miss seeing Paul cook. So this isn't a cook with Paul video nope, But this Paul, is just a Paul in the kitchen. Video. Paul is cooking with you so let's see. I've got. So what do you have going on? I've got a pan full of peppers. Peppers, delicious. I have, extra pans. I have a pan full of onions. Yummy. And, and I also have. This is the first time I've ever cooked this. This is a pan full of chorizo. Chorizo. Which Shannon does not think is yummy. No, I will not touch that. The boys like that. Paul eats that. And I guess I probably should say we've gone back to we're not 100% plant based anymore. <laughs> 
as evidenced by the fact that we're having breakfast burritos, which are going to have prominently featured eggs and cheese. Oh yeah, eggs. I didn't yeah. even think about that. Think about so that. we're we're not we're not 100% plant based. We've actually been kind of bad the past couple weeks, but we're still eating vegetables. Yeah, we love Onions vegetables. And <laughs> right so here's a moment of truth. Reality. Are you ready? Duck donuts. We went and after the mall that day, we got donuts. So I'm gonna have to stop recording so Paul can answer the phone. Okay, so we're actually, Paul said that was Pottery Barn. It wasn't. We're, it, was it, a telemarketer. it wasn't, but we actually are having Pottery Barn come out tomorrow morning. They are bringing um, some more furniture <laughs> because we have more furniture on order. So we have a lot of space you have to furnish. We do have a lot of space. So just a quick update on that. Tomorrow we're actually getting our patio table for our screened in porch, which we're really excited to get. We ordered it at the same time as all the chairs out there, but you know, it was on back order. So it's coming tomorrow. And also we had a chair made for our bedroom. It's a, like a navy blue kind of oversized, very comfy reading chair. I'm super excited to get that. So the master bedroom is actually going to change a little bit the way we currently had it set up with dressers and stuff. They're going to get kind of shifted around as that new chair comes in. I forgot Let me. I totally forgot that that chair is going to be blue. What color did you think it was going to be? I was thinking it was going to be gray. Just, just gray because, would have been pretty. Just because we saw a gray chair that you really liked, and that, that's what we that's what we modeled the chair off of. I, I, the, the I loved the gray chair that we saw. I'll, I'll turn it back. I loved the gray chair that we saw in store, but um, it didn't match our bed as well. And I really loved the headboard of our bed, so I didn't want to detract from that. So we went with the navy blue because even if we change up the colors of the bedspread or the room for some reason, I mean, a navy blue chair can pretty much go with anything. And um, if we have more company, we figured we could also bring that chair out from the room and use it in the, uh, the family room here. But we're getting that tomorrow. I'm really excited about it. And then that would leave just one piece of furniture left that Pottery Barn owes us. And that's not a... <laughs> That's not a great experience so far with that one, honestly. It's Paul's table, his dining room table. I say Paul's table because he picked it out and he's super excited to get it. And um, when we ordered it, when did we order that, Paul? Was that April that we ordered, we ordered it? We ordered it in April. Okay, yeah. so we ordered it in April and it was back ordered to August. And we knew that when we ordered it, that it was gonna be back ordered. We were fine with August, no big deal. Paul kind of made his joke and said, well, as long as it's here by Thanksgiving, we're good. So I just logged onto our account out of the blue, just to kind of check on my chair and table and saw that they changed the back order date on the table now till December 25th. So Merry Christmas. Um, I'm a little bit perturbed about that because I figure, you know, we've already paid for the table. I figure they should maybe at least email you or let you know, hey, this is going to be four months later than we told you. Are you okay with that? But I don't know. Maybe that's their policy. Not sure. Yeah, I feel like they should have told us. So yeah. I'm going to have to call them and figure out something with that. Yeah, so we feel, here's Paul, we feel like they should have told us, but... Um, it is, it, what it, is. it is what it is. Overall, we've been very happy with the quality of everything we've received. There's been some bumps along the way as far as getting the things delivered. Um, just the scheduling of stuff. The actual deliveries have been fantastic. They actually have really good crews, I think. But, um, but anyway, yeah, so that's the update on the table. Um, gonna film Paul again. He's just cooking those burritos. <laughs> You guys need to keep leaving him comments that you want cooking with Paul videos. Uh, I, look, will, I will cook something. Look at this beautiful new kitchen. Well, Paul's just Mr. Popular. This is Pottery Barn. Is this Pottery Barn? We're just okay. going to take the call right now. Take the call live. This is Paul. Can I help you? Hey, how you doing? We were just talking about you. Perfect. They want to come to earlier. what time? Oh yeah, that's fine. No problem. I'm going to get my stuff 
earlier, guys. <laughs> that sounds good. All right, see you tomorrow morning. Bye-bye. Look at that they're phone always, call live. Awesome. So he was calling. Um, so was, our, it, our delivery was scheduled from 10 to 12. Yeah, it's now going to be 7 a.m. to 7.30. So they're a little bit ahead of schedule. Wow, that's and a then, short window. Yeah, I like it. Call is 15 minutes. We're going to be the first delivery of the day. So, so the last time we got my shelves delivered, uh -huh. we were the first thing. And they're like, oh, we'll be there from 7 to 9, I think it was. And they called it like 6.45. They're like, we're here. <laughs> so we had to scramble, but I should show you my shelves, except there's something sitting on them that I wasn't gonna show yet. <laughs> should I show it? Yeah, just go ahead and show it. I haven't it. put the video up yet. Every time I've been filming in my beauty room, I've been moving something so you yeah. guys wouldn't see it. Go, go, ahead and, go ahead and show it. But you guys, there's gonna be a whole video coming on this on this thing. I'm, I'm actually really excited about it. Yeah, so, so with, with everything that happened with my mom, we kind of got off track with that video. I still need to film yeah. something else. So oh, that's that's why I haven't shown it. it. So go do that and then come back and talk. Okay. So anyway, that's why I hadn't shown it yet because the video is not finished and I kind of wanted you guys to see it finished. But here's my beauty room, still pretty much looking the same, except for here's the Pottery Barn shelves. Let's see. Come on, camera. Auto adjust. Okay, so here's the shelves. They're very pretty. They match my vanity. I just have some um, little bins there right now. Those are actually going to go down in the drawers, I think, to just kind of store stuff. But this is what's on the shelves right now. So it's my Louboutin shoe collection. Yes, it is now officially a collection since I have two pair. <laughs> So this is the first pair of Louboutins that I bought when we were in New York for Toy Fair one year. And I think it was Toy Fair. Yes, it was Toy Fair. So these are really pretty. They are just black patent. Of course they have the red sole. Um, I don't forget, I think they're just the simple pump. Where does it say? The sip, simple pump, 85's patent size 42 because I have a big foot, but I'm tall. So you, you have to have big feet when you're tall. These are the things I've been hiding. Every time I filmed in here, I have pulled these down so you wouldn't see them because I didn't want to spoil the surprise. But, um, a couple weeks ago, Paul surprised me with these. Um, well, I was in on the process, but he said, Oh, just go to the Louboutin website and see if they have anything new. It's been a while since we've looked. So I saw those and I said, oh, I love them. And he said, go ahead and get them. And there's a whole story about that, which will be on the other video. But these are my beauties. Um, they are so pretty, you guys. <laughs> so I don't know that I'm actually ever gonna wear them. Maybe if I practice a lot, but those are really, really high heels. Um, I can wear them and walk in them a little bit in the house and stuff. I just, you know. I don't want to look like a fool <laughs> out in public, but these are what they are. They're the Pagafoli 100s Patent Sunrise, and they're just awesome. So I told Paul he's in trouble now because he got me these shelves, and I love them. They're awesome, but they have eight shelves. That means I need eight pairs of Louboutins, right? So there you go. And he said we had to come back, so we're going to go back. But anyway, let me know what you think of those shells down below. I'm really excited. I I think they're pretty cool. Okay, we're back. You're back. All right. So hopefully you guys had a good time in Shannon's beauty room, saw her new surprise. Uh, like we said, there's going to be a video on that coming up, I think. I hope. Hopefully soon. Hopefully. Um, anyway, I just bought something really nice for myself. So we were talking a few weeks ago or a few months ago. I forget. Time has just gone by so quickly. Um, about how Shannon gets really nice stuff, but I don't really have a whole lot. Um, because you don't want it. <laughs> yes, because I don't want it. So hopefully you guys saw the video where I went and bought a guitar and an amplifier. Um, if you haven't, then I, I bought a guitar and an amplifier a couple weeks ago. And I've really been enjoying that um, so much so that I bought another guitar tonight. <laughs> it's not here yet. It's actually Happy Father's Day. Thank you. It's actually <laughs> custom made. I bought one from Kiesel Guitars, which used to be Carvin Guitars. I will show that to you on the channel when it arrives. 
Um, He's really excited. I'm, like, super excited about it. He got um, to pick out, like, every detail of his new yeah, baby. This has kind of been, like, a dream of mine since the 1980s, or 1990s, really, um, to do this. So the fact that I can now do it is just, just incredibly awesome. Um, so I have a wonderful wife who, uh, who said yes. When I said I want to do it, she said, go ahead and do it. Um, <laughs> so, so, anyway, so thank you, Shannon, You're welcome. for that. Um, so I'm really excited. And uh, for all of you out there that worry that I don't get anything nice, I got a couple of nice things in a short period of time. So I know. There you go. <laughs> so I told everybody that I've been like addicted to diamond painting and buying yeah. a whole bunch, but you bought two guitars in less than 30 days. Yeah. That's a much more expensive collection. You think? Uh, yeah. Okay. Although my shoe collection is rivaling your guitar collection. Yeah, but you know. I have six more shelves. You, well, yeah. <laughs> hey, this will not be the last six part of it. Six more shelves. So I said it. <laughs> Woo! What you doing there? Um, I nearly died. <laughs> <laughs> Should I so, put that in the thumbnail? Near death experience. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> So I said it when I was outside of Guitar Center. I said, this is not, this is not the first guitar I've ever bought. It's not, it's not going to be the last. And true enough, I've already bought another one. The <laughs> guitar that I bought tonight will not be the last guitar I ever buy. So fair warning. Fair okay, warning. so you heard it here first. Yeah. yeah. I heard it here first. Yes, this will go. not be the last guitar. There you go. All right, so i got to get back to cooking. Okay. I'll see you guys later.